Meadows come and go, and Fraudra never leaves. Recently I updated my tier list, because uh, I do every... After every festival or after every collab, is a good time to do so. And I bumped up Fraudra, and I never had actually had a video to show why. Uh, I just kind of, you know, was lurking, t taking a look at what people are using, and not really... I haven't really tried him on this current meta, I just know that he's really, really powerful right now. And this is the setup. So, Demon King Melee, <laughs> obviously Demon King. Demon King plus Fraudrin should be illegal, dude. But it is what it is, right? <laughs> and then Albedo in the back. Because once one of your characters die, she comes in with Taunt. Which is really, really powerful. At the moment, there are two major teams. Sins and Humans. And, oh, and Gelda, sorry. Sins, Humans, and Gelda. Like, Gelda is more of a net of teams. So I didn't really uh, think of her as like a, separate, a specific team. It's a bot, so he's attacking Frogging directly. I have dodge food, because real players are not gonna... In their first attack, they're gonna attack Meliodas. That, that's always what's gonna happen, because... Well, he's a target he really should be going for. And... This is an AI, so I, I guess... Frogrin is the best anti-bot character in the game. That might sound like a cop-out. Like, oh yeah, he's good against bots. But really, I don't know about global guys, but... <laughs> JP, there are days where I can't find a real player. But th this is not why he's good. The, in the current meta, going up against Sims, going up against humans, and going up against Gelda. Fraudrin is good against all of them, but mainly Sins. On the Sins team, the key component ends up being trying to get Melee's rank up as their main DPS, and it's exceptionally hard to follow his AoE. So, Fraudrin really, really messes you up, and none of these teams you notice, except, I guess, humans, but you try to not use it as much as possible have a way of blocking the Tarmelink from Demon King. Like, Sins and, and Gelda seems especially. Also, by the way, I, I guess I haven't talked about this in a while, too. Uh, the most common hu human team right now is with Roxy. It is crazy, but it makes sense. Yuri doesn't cut it for... Like I said, some days are... Finding a real player is like a challenge. Yuri is cool and all, but the, the issue lies that you need to go first with Arthur to win. And at that point, having the extra damage from Roxy is really powerful. I guess I'll, I'll remake a Roxy video. But yeah, Yuri... Nothing really happened to humans necessarily, but Yuri got kind of bumped down and Roxy went up just because of necessities, right? And Roxy has more CC, I believe. She must have, because Yuri is missing outfits. This is a big issue collab characters have that I just genuinely don't understand why the devs still keep prop like propelling forward. Collab characters should have two sets of free, free outfits. If they're not gonna sell all of the outfits necessary to max out the outfits, at least give us an extra free one. Because it's terrible for the character in the long run. Is it on purpose? I don't know. For characters that want to go second, like Albedo, for example, it's not as big of a deal. But for Yuri, it is. Humans need to go first to win. And it's not a matter of choice. <laughs> like, you don't have a choice in this. You, you need to go first to win. Okay. Yeah, most of the teams aren't going to have... Aren't gonna have a way of stopping Demon King Zaldrus from healing. The thing is that Demon King Zaldruses aren't that common either. Like, I'm talking about this team, but I... I don't, I don't recall ever facing this team while playing since uh, the release of Galfer. Maybe I have, I'm just not remembering. People aren't, people aren't mass using this setup at the moment, but it is very strong against the current metas. It's just that I feel like... For one, less people are playing right now because it's a dead. It's a dead period, right? Festival Gaffer was dead, and what's it called? Uh, Valencia just came out, so that's boring. 
not PvP related either, right? Bless you for playing to begin with, but... <laughs> people that want to play with Fraudrin are very little. Like, you need to wi want to win so bad to play with this boring-ass team. And oh yeah, for you guys right now on Global, you don't even, uh... You don't even have regular PvP on Ungeared, right? You just have the April Fools rule, which I don't get why they didn't drop for Global and JP at the same time, considering April Fools was two weeks ago. You know, but whatever. It, it's gonna, it's gonna. Isn't it gonna leave later today? I believe so. Now you're gonna be able to actually play with the Frogin. If you even play regular PvP at all, because Chaos Battle is coming back. You know, it's a weird time for <laughs> regular PvP because it's in between Chaos Battle and the April Fool's Room. Although Chaos Battle, not as populated as last time, I would say. It's, it's getting a little repetitive. Maybe they should change the rules a little bit. Put some extra stuff in, not just the the cost. It is getting a little repetitive. I uh, I was hoping to make this video at a normal length, but it seems to me that I will not be facing any real players, which makes sense. Not only I'm in champ one, which at this I'm so high in champ one. For me to go down to champ two would be super low. It's about to reset. I'm not gonna go through all that. It's a dead period. All right. We're gonna get a collab soon, so that's gonna be a little nice spike, but... You know, Galifer Festival was pretty boring. Most people kind of didn't care about it that much, which makes sense, dude. dude. Galifer, I am... Not a Galifer hater, right? I actually like the character. If I had to list my, my favorite sins in order, Galifer would be in the top five. <laughs> I guess that's not a big compliment, but like... It's not my bottom, right? But the truth of the matter is the unit itself is boring. Like, what the unit does is not very exciting. You know what I mean? So it makes sense. Support characters aren't very exciting to begin with. And when a support character is just kind of there just for CC, that doesn't really help, you know? Oh, I forgot to click record. Oh, yeah. One of the best tactics for Gelda is to just blast AoEs right away. So you can heal as much as possible, so... So I'm saying, like, this team works pretty good against the current meta teams because of this. Um, but I was talking about... Gaffer. I mean, Gaffer is whatever. I mean, the, also the fact that they made a, him a festival doesn't really help either, because it wasn't very well received. But whatever, right? Whatever that. The biggest issue is that this week came out Valenti, which... Not only is a catastrophe, uh, which no one cares about, but she's also a PvE character, so that doesn't help for the population of PvP. Whenever a unit made for PvE comes out, there's nothing to really test, right? There's nothing to um, put your, your grubby hands on, your greasy, grubby little hands on, and, uh, and, and try, so, including me, right? So I have to make videos on Fraudry. <laughs> I mean, one thing's for sure, right? If you play JP, if you use this team, you have a 100% win rate because you will only be facing bots. So it's a guaranteed win because the, the bots kill Fraudry immediately. And not a single time that I use Fraudry or the blue base Elizabeth, I don't just sigh on the thought that I should have kept them level one. <laughs> I should have kept that level them level one. It is very unfortunate that I never did. My life would have been different. Not really, but unfortunate. I know a lot of you also feel the same way.